Hello guys, my name is Nito, Safix, and today we have another video, and this time it is how to install a PS4 controller on your PC. Now, most of the stuff in this guide is fairly easy to do, as long as you know how to do it. If you do not know, it can be a bit of a struggle, and that's why I've decided to make this guide. But I will be skipping most of the installation, simply because it is pretty easy to do. First off, you want to start out by... Downloading the Xbox 360 controller driver, simply pick your operating system and you should be good to go. If you're on Windows 10, I unfortunately do not know how it works, but if you're on Windows 8, I have heard that if you download the Windows 7 driver, it should work. So the download and installation of this is not going to be something that I'm going to show, I'm simply going to proceed and show you the next program that you're going to be downloading. And the next program is called Input Mapper. It is more formally known as DS4 tool and... Um, it kind of is the one that shows you your PS4 controllers are connected and so on. This is the ones, well, this is the program that actually uh, supports the PS4 controllers, whereas the other driver we just downloaded simply enables you to use controllers on your PC. Good. Input Mapper is a program where you can also remap buttons. Uh, I have changed some buttons around on my controller. You also change the sensitivity of the analog stick, and there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. It's not a program that I know too well, so just uh, imagine that you guys could uh, kind of experiment with it. It is actually pretty easy to work with, and um, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Now, I've gone really quickly through this guide, and it's simply because I want to cram in as much information as possible. What I'm going to show you now is a game called Rocket League. If you don't play it, you might as well uh, just close this video right now. But I actually found out that you can do uh, online split screen in Rocket League. First off, I want to tell you that when you get to the start menu here, you do not want to press any buttons on your keyboard or on your mouse because Rocket League does not support both a keyboard and a controller. So if you want to play two players, you're going to need two controllers. If you want to play three players, you're going to need three controllers. And you probably guessed it, if you want to play four players, you need four controllers. So do not hit anything on your keyboard or on your mouse. I have tried it. If you've got a keyboard and a controller, the controller will not only control its own player, but will also control the keyboard player. And that means that if you're two guys sitting beside each other, one guy will be controlling both, and the other guy will be controlling none. So you definitely want to avoid that. Now, I think my controller is kind of broken, or the cable connecting to the PC, which looks like this is somewhat broken. It's it's simply a recharging cable for the PS4 that I've connected in the USB 2.0 port in my PC. Um, I'm not gonna pull up like into the uh, the webcam here the other PS4 controller because I think it might be kind of breaking. It's disconnected all the time and it's very sad but that means that whenever I actually take it up onto the camera like show it to the camera it disconnects and then I cannot do this video because I look like a mug. So if I press on one controller nothing happens. If I press X on the other controller, it goes into the game. Now it says press the start button to join and I believe this is an Xbox 360 button, but since we don't have any of those on a PS4 controller, <laughs> go figure, um, we're just going to hit the options button on the other PS4 controller. If you do this, another player should connect and I, I would um, advise you guys to go in an, ex in an exhibition match one versus one, or two versus two, or whatever. With bots, no bots, I don't care. Simply go into a match and make sure that both controllers work. So, we're going to be using one controller to pick auto here, and we're going to take the other controller and pick auto here. So, just to show you that this works, this is one controller, and we can drive and blah blah blah, blah. and then I can still jump on the other controller. Whee! So, it is as easy as you like, and it's the exact same way that you um, connect more PlayStation controllers. If you want to play four-player online, you could actually do that by connecting four PS4 controllers and then pressing the options button on all of them and waiting for them all to connect. But this is just a quick guide not only to set up a controller to use for absolutely any game, but also um, how to do split screen in Rocket League on a single PC. Now, as far as the drivers go, and well, the driver and input mapper goes, I will have links to those two programs in the description, so please make sure to check out the description of this video. Now, I hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. Please do like, and a comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, my name is Nato Safix, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.